All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, myself and our tester, Ryan Brath, are doing a pre-fit test. Basically, he is Mr. Mizuno, so we are testing <laughs> his MP20 MMC versus the new Mizuno Pro 223. Very similar profiles, a um, little bit more technology in the 223. He's got a little slot cavity in there. Both have the copper underlay. So we're basically gonna measure both up and, and see what's the difference, what, where are the performance gains um, between the two models. MP20 MMC, super popular iron for us here at TXG, um, but 223 is, is special. RB, what's your, uh, what's your thoughts? I use this iron basically since it came out. I've, I've had other Mizunos in the past. A lot of people are very well familiar, you know. Um, but the big thing for me is when we talked to Chris and we had the chance to have Chris on the podcast, you know, they'd been using this multi-material cavity, MMC, that's kind of what they call it, the reason they call it that, for a number of years. And this was the first time that they had kind of changed it up again. They had changed the dimensions of the, the titanium slug in the back of this golf club, so the short irons actually kind of had a, a, a better sole design, all of that, everything kind of morphed into this iron that they had learned before. But with the 223, as Chris had said, you know, we took this technology as far as we possibly could. And you know, you've tested already the HMB, mm -hmm. we've seen the performance gains in the, like the new 225. So we're gonna put you know, category to category, iron to iron, see how these two stack up and see what might end up in my bag this year. Love it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Mizuno MP20 MMC. Well, Mike, there's never any problem with height. No, nope. good strike. Unlike yourself, holding a green is generally not the issue with my golf game. Must be nice. The thing with me is too, like I've, I've used the Elevate and people think of the Elevate as like a high launch shaft. Like, mm -hmm. as we've kind of shown, I hit everything high. Yeah. So this for me just, because I use it in a, in a stronger lofted set of irons before. I know these are bent a little strong. This one's 29 degrees in the six iron. Um, but it just, again, if you, I use graphite as well, cause, but I find the VSS for me really helps because I've had issues with my elbows before. So it's just a comfortable shaft, although it might not seem like it's the ideal fit. Yeah. It's definitely one that seems to work for me. That was something I'm gonna ask you this, I mean, it's not a shaft uh, video, but VSS, you know, shafts with it and shafts without it, do you notice a huge difference? I have, yeah. personally, yeah. Like, not, I've used the LZ in the past. It's a shaft that I really like. I, I can fit into it. I have, if I have an iron set that already has a shaft with that, I can move in, no problem, feels really good. It's the miss hits. Yeah. When you get those miss hits, you get the skinny ones, they don't feel good. No. They don't, they don't feel good any, any time, regardless if it's a graphite shaft or not, but graphite, moving into something like this, really helps so you don't get the, the excess sting, I guess, really is the best way to put it. Totally, and that vibration does affect Play, playability with an iron and can increase injury. I mean, I've, I've got multiple customers of mine, older demographic guys that do suffer from, you know, tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. They play a lot of tennis and, um, you know, getting them something with that vibra vibration dampening is, is so key for them. It, it's either graphite and now that we have steel that have this technology, I mean, it, it's, it's a bonus. I could land a pinnacle in a parking lot, Mike. <laughs> you really could. High softies, it's... What's the peak, 120? Okay. That's a high six iron. Yeah, good swing, lovely. It's not the longest six iron, but it's, I can deal with it. It's consistent and it's, it's, you know, we see quite a bit of launch, you know, peak height's significantly high, you know, you deliver a bit of loft to the ball, but, you know, 7,000 RPMs around there with a, with a six iron, you land it nice and soft on a green, like you alluded to earlier. I can't hold a green, you have no problem holding a green. Your, your analogy of a pinnacle in a parking lot, that's, uh, that's perfect, because it is nice and high and soft, which is, which is what a lot of people are looking for. We'd make a good scramble team, Mike. We would, we would. Okie doke, so we're gonna test the 223 now. Um, couple s spec info, the shaft that we have in here is an Oban CT115, standard length. Um, lofts, RB's um, MP20 MMC was 28 degrees. This is 29 and a half. Um, similar lie angle. This will be an interesting test. Again, with that micro slot, you know, it's from what we've seen early on by having these in the fitting bay, they are very controllable, but extremely hot. Um, very, very impressive iron, like I said, from early testing that we've done, but excited to see how this works for you. Yeah, I, I'm really like fascinated because 
This is, in essence, the, what, 921 Forge, kind of like a small version of it. Yeah. In essence, it's kind of like the idea of it. I think you always see this evolution with a lot of product, not just Mizuno. You see it with Titleist and the T-Series. T We've seen it from Callaway with the, the TCB. They're always trying to figure out ways to kind of maximize some forgiveness. Or the Apex, I know you tested the Apex recently. Mm -hmm. And they push the limits, see how it holds up, see where they can thin out, save more mass. And they've done that with this by you know, creating that micro slot and then filling it up again. So I'm really curious to see how this performs as far as the, the spin and everything is concerned. Obviously no, no height, no problem with height. So if I can get that down a little bit, perfect. Definitely, love it. Good swing. Definitely a bit more pop off these. With a little bit more distance, you know, we haven't sacrificed launch, we haven't sacrificed peak height, we haven't really sacrificed any spin. It's not like it's coming in low or anything like that. It's, again, that, that micro slot has helped with you know, maintaining ball speed and, and you're striking it really nicely. Carries definitely up a, a couple yards. Yeah, I, 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 it looks really good too. Like it looks compact, right? Like mm -hmm. got a lot of tech in there for something that doesn't look that big. And I think that's where we're seeing more irons like this with, as I mentioned, the Cobra Tour M MIM, right? Or the D100 or this or um, the Apex. Like in that category, you're seeing a lot of tech in iron 770. Maybe not 770 kind of moves, moves a little bit out of this a little bit, I think. But in general, like, the smaller iron that is going to have technology in it could be super helpful, but still offers someone who, like myself, who wants something that looks more traditional when I'm addressing the ball, gives you that. Yeah, that's a good point. Traditional, but still, still a bit of help. I mean, yeah. we all love a nice, you know, clean blade or something really compact, but at the end of the day, we all need a little bit of help down and low, and, and you, know, if we, you know, we don't strike it in the center all the time, so that extra help is, is, gonna, is gonna be a benefit on the golf course. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Just need a couple more Please like that. dead straight 170 carry. Just give me a couple more like that. Let me That'll blow come everything on golf else swing. out of the water. Come on, golf swing. There it is. Good. Real nice. So club twirl inside, is that all right? Are we cool with that? All right, RB, really cool little test that we've done. Your gamers versus what could potentially become your new gamers. Um, MP20 MMC, again, great iron. Comparative to you know ball speed and launch, we're seeing a little bit more out of 223. So more ball speed, more launch. Spins a little bit less, we pick up some distance. Um, club, club data though, efficiency's a little bit higher with the uh, 223. Club head speed again is up. Dynamic loft almost the same. So you look at it, it's very similar in a way profile wise, but you just sneak a little bit extra out of that 223. And I, I believe it comes down to a bit more tech packed into it. That, that micro slot's really helping. And you know, we had a couple where even you said, I you know, felt like I chunked it and you still got it to where you needed needed to hit the ball. Yeah, and the other thing too is like looking at the like impact patterns, right? Like I generally miss it low. Mm -hmm. um, cutting, coming across it, a little bit shallower, like, or like leaving the face open and you know, coming across it and leading that in with a little bit more loft, obviously having no issue hitting the ball high. Hitting low for me, like getting ball speed out of a, like a game improvement iron is always like easy to do, right? Because they're stronger lofted, there's mm -hmm. usually some face tech there. It's not an iron that I gravitate towards, but I gravitate towards something like I had with the MP20. So it's like, how can I use that iron and get something more out of it? And this is doing basically exactly that because there is, again, the micro slot in it. So you're getting slot technology from the JPX line into something that is a lot smaller, still feels really good, obviously looks really good. And what do we see? A few extra yards carry there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peak height's a little higher, so maybe that's a loft thing. We'll tweak with that or, or go with a, maybe a different ball, but you know, kind of pretty much close loft for loft to see that kind of, and again, it's maybe a little faster, but efficiency overall was better with the new one. Totally. So if we're looking at head to head, yes, I swung this one a little bit faster, but the efficiency was also better. 100%. Because if, if we didn't see the ball speed jump, but we're swinging it faster, obviously that there's an issue, but if you're getting that higher 
it's, it's obviously performing. And I think, again, the, the little extra help on that miss hit, and like you said, you are a low ball striker, but on that one that felt a little kind of heavy behind the ball, it, it never put you in trouble, that's for sure. So, you know, in the back of your mind, the courses you play, things that you have to carry that are forced, on the days you're not striking your best, you're, you're still going to get away with it. Yeah, and that's most days. <laughs> All but good. It does, and it, the higher, that's a good point, right? Like, we talk about it a lot with drivers, high and low misses are getting so much better now, especially those high ones that really maintain spin instead of dropping out of the sky. And this still feels really good. I think you, you move into some of the older irons and you get into the top of a blade, you're not getting much out of it. But something like this or you know what I had, obviously good. This one, it's improvement. They, it does exactly what it's supposed to. 100%. I think really cool test to see kind of apples to apples in a way, you know, the big brother to, to an iron that's been out. And um, I think we should, you know, do more of this, you know, older models versus newer models and, and kind of show you what is the difference. We get, I get asked the question all the time, you know, is the 223 better than my MP20 MMCs? I mean, you can see there is some performance gain. So um, excited to do more of this testing. Um, you could slide these into your bag for this season, no problem, but. Um, testing old and new is something we get asked all the time. A lot of times people are looking for distance when it comes to drivers and ferry woods. They want to know old versus new. We've showcased a lot of that recently and you know further back in the past where model to model, we're seeing maybe a few miles per hour ball speed difference. But you know, overall, if you're fit for a, good, a driver and you've had it over the last couple of years, are you going to see a massive improvement? Not always the case, right, Mike? And I think that's something that we, we tried our best to showcase. Uh, but when it comes to irons, you know, there is this kind of gradual step, right? Three to four yards in a driver might not seem that big of a deal. Three to five yards in an iron can, can make a big difference. And I think something that I know I'm excited to test more of because we get a lot of this. Too, you know, sometimes too much, and that just means that there's, those questions are out there and it's, it's our, you know, kind of job to deliver these answers. And like you said, that those small yardage gains in, in an iron can mean a couple strokes off someone's game. Just, you know, force carries, whatever that trouble brings, it, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, and I think too, like, exactly to your point, right? How many times, oh, I just missed, I missed hit a shot and ended up in a bunker. Irons, in many cases, are not as forgiving as a driver. Driver's a big golf club head. Irons, it's about precision. You don't buy irons to, like, go the furthest. You, go, you buy irons to, be, to shrink those circles, right? Those tight hula hoops, as we've mentioned many times in the past. So... When we are trying to shrink that dispersion, new versus old, I think we really start to see that when it comes to irons, when we are going through a fitting. And, you know, another test and have some fun. Love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, we like comparing old to new. It's one of the most popular questions we get. We get it with the drivers. We get it with irons. We get it with wedges and putters as well. But it's all about precision when it comes to irons, and this is all about showcasing that. So remember, please use the comment section below. You got an old model in your bag? Maybe Mike or I have it in our basement kicking around or we got something around the shop we could test to compare it to. We always want to do our best to showcase new product against their counterparts in the past and show, just like we did in this test, exactly what type of improvement you can expect to see. So remember, please use the comment section below. Let us know. We like to give feedback. We like to help each everyone else in the comments as much as we can. And as always, thanks for watching.